Welcome to Retro Bassin. In a few short minutes, we're going to announce the winner of the Retro Bassin Old School Tackle Box Giveaway. Stick around. Retro Bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish. By the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish at old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from the golden era of bass fishing. Stick around, consider subscribing, and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know when we post a new video like this one. So it has been uh, roughly seven days since I first posted the video that we're going to be giving away this old school tackle box chock full of some old school goodies. Um, this is the first such giveaway that we've done on Retro Bass. And, and by the way, guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about future giveaways. Um, I have always been a little bit shy to do them. I, I don't want to seem like I'm fishing for clicks with this stuff. But at the same time, I do think it's a pretty cool way to give back to you, the viewer. So, a few things if I'm kind of Monday morning quarterbacking uh, this first giveaway. Um, number one is I should probably do them more often. One of the things that we often do in the show is we'll pick one particular lure and really highlight it over the course of an episode. We'll talk about its history, we'll break down the lure itself, and of course, take it fishing. And what I think I might do is, in future videos with more old school lures, I might do a giveaway at the end of them. Uh, most of these lures that I've got, I've got a few of them, and it'll be a pretty cool way to, again, give back to you guys. I'm hoping and pretty confident that one of my hardcore bass and buds is going to end up with this box. So really, to get in, you just had to drop a comment down below, and I think at this count, we're up to around 88 or so comments. So honestly you've got a better chance than one out of 102 to win this bad boy. But overall, I think the biggest reason that I do want to continue with giveaways like this is I can't tell you how many awesome comments that I got from folks who said that they've been watching Retro Bassin for the past couple years but had never dropped a comment. So much of this whole YouTube journey is really a, a lonely sport. You kind of go out fishing by yourself a lot of times uh, you spend hours editing by yourself a lot of times and you put up a video and you don't necessarily know if anybody's watching it or if anybody cares about the content that you're putting out. So for me, one of the coolest things about this giveaway was the fact that I got to hear from people who had honestly never commented on a retro bassing video before. So um, I think that taught me to keep doing these giveaways and hopefully it taught you guys to keep dropping comments down below. I love the feedback, good, bad, or ugly. Uh, it just lets me know that y'all are out there. So we're gonna get to this in a hot minute. I've got a random comment picker app that I will pull up and show you guys as we pick the winner. Um, in the meantime, I had just a little bit of mail to get to, so we'll do that first. And it is Christmas day, so I'm drinking a little bit of one of my favorite old school beverages, Mad Elf, which Used to get in PA all the time. I cannot, unfortunately, get here in Texas, so I've got to have it uh, shipped in. Let's do this. So a little bit of the mail that I've been getting as of late has been with an eye toward the um, unique, obscure, and definitely the novelty. So I've got some mail that I've been kind of waiting to open on camera. It's really some old school stuff, but it's also some really wacky baits that honestly I don't know if we'll catch a fish but they will definitely catch a fisherman. Ooh, okay. So these uh, I picked up a while back. So I've been on a little bit of a Bill Norman kick as of late and I uncovered these baits online. I don't even remember when these came out, but it's a whole Bill Norman line of crankbaits. I don't know which N this is. It's definitely not a DD-22, but being a Texas guy, <laughs> check these out. It's got the awesome <laughs> Texaco logo on them. <laughs> it's like the coolest things ever. So I got a handful of these guys, and I will definitely crack open a few to fish with. But in the meantime, what an awesome branded bait. So they come in a diff couple of different colors. Uh, there's a chartreuse. 
Um, I don't know what model this is, by the way. If y'all do know, drop a comment down below. But it looks like that suck would run around 9 to 12 feet and most definitely catch Texas bass. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, sticking with the Bill Norman theme, this was a really cool jerkbait that came out back in the day. I don't know what year this came out, but really one of the most unique, customizable suspending jerkbaits that I've ever seen. This is from Bill Norman, and you can notice there's definitely a little mug of Rick Klun on there. The way this thing works is it's got a little bit of a a plug in the bottom, if you can see that. You remove that, and then you can fill the inner chamber of the bait with water, depending on how much you want it to suspend. And I guess the water conditions, whether salinity, temperature, all that stuff. But this is a pretty sweet, what is this called? The R.I.P. in Rick. The Rippin' Rick. Oh, awesome. I've been eyeing these up for a while, and I finally found a couple of them online. There's one in Fire Tiger. A uh, Rippin' Rick. There's one in sort of a, a chartreuse fire tiger. Ooh, like a blue mackerel almost. It's pretty sweet. Hey, another fire tiger. That might be the one I opened. And a little rainbow trout. So being that it's December here in Texas, uh, the fish is definitely getting a little bit tougher. And I have not done a ton of jerk baiting since I moved down here. But back east, that was like my go-to bait from Thanksgiving through Easter. So I'm excited to get out there with this bait. I've never actually thrown it before. I don't even know how it works. I think you pull the plug, you fill it up some way, somehow, and you send her off. So we'll check that out. Okay, this is a really cool, obscure, mail order bait called the Jimbo. I think this lure company was based somewhere in Florida and you would actually have to order the baits, mail order, they would send them, honestly, in the lure package itself with a standard <laughs> shipping label. <laughs> So this is a pretty wild bait, which by the way, time of year, I think this thing would actually work as well. So at first look, the bait looks a little bit confusing, if you'll see here. If I can actually get this camera to focus, oh my goodness. Uh, so there it is, the Jimbo. It is sort of a shad profile bait. It's got a, a swivel on the bottom. It is hollow and it floats. The way that you're supposed to fish the Jimbo is kind of unique. It comes with these instructions here. And if I can find a good illustration, I will let you know. Oh, here we go. So basically the way that you're supposed to fish the Jimbo is you rig it almost Carolina style with a, a, an egg sinker or some sort of bullet sinker. From there, this bait will actually suspend up over the bottom and just sort of, I guess, glide along. Honestly, I bet that would be a really cool bait for fish that are suspended just up off the bottom. And coming into winter time, I think I might actually throw this Jimbo on some of the lakes around Texas.
<laughs> Alright, so this one is like pure gimmick, but pretty awesome just the same. So this is called Fran Lane Lures. What is this called? The Winner Minner. <laughs> Check out that awesome crankbait. Clearly, I bought this for the cover art, not the reviews um, and endorsements, because I don't see any. But supposedly, this thing looks and swims like a live minnow. It's highly effective on bass, northern pike, musky walleye, salmon trout, stripers. It's a sinking lure, casting, or trolling. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So it's a sinking crankbait, almost like uh, an original L and S uh, type bait. Pretty sweet. So the Fran Lures. And I have a couple of them, all the same color. So I would definitely be cracking open at least one of these packages and seeing if this thing can still catch. And if not, <laughs> that mermaid is, uh, uh, she's quite a honey. <laughs> Where do I find this stuff? All right, last one before. Ooh, okay. So if you guys follow my Instagram page at all, you know that I am an equal junkie of old school vinyl country as I am old school lures. And this next purchase is sort of a, a mixture of both of those. So here's a vintage discontinued spinnerbait called the Bush Hog by Porter Wagner. Check that thing out. It's like a Porter Wagner signature bait. I've never uh, heard of this before. I found, I think it's two of these online. Let me see, yep. So there's two of these bush hogs online and there's a pretty sweet mug of Porter Wagner just hanging out. I know that I've gotten some old school Mel Tillis lures. I was not aware that Porter Wagner was also in the um, fish and tackle industry, but a huge fan of his as well. I've got these two pretty cool baits that I ain't gonna open. By the way, make sure you check out Texas Provisions. We've just dropped a couple of new shirts and hats, and you can find us over there at txprovisions.com. We've got some pretty cool new old school fish and trucker hats that we've dropped recently as well. That is txprovisions.com. Okay, you guys ready? I gotta admit, I'm kinda nervous about this whole thing. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not going to win it, right? <laughs> but for some reason. Um, so here we go. So I found a, um, a website. I've never used it before. It's called pickawinner.com. And it's a YouTube random comment picker. So uh, y'all can see that right there. And I am going to hit fetch. And we'll see, uh, we'll see who wins. <laughs> and by the way, Bluetooth Brandon, if you win, it doesn't count. Just so you know. Uh, what's it say? I don't even look. Can you see? Oh, choose a filter. I'm sorry. So include replies. No. Allow duplicates. No, because that's cheating. Continue. Please wait while we pick a random comment. Oh. Come on. Is it still going? Did it pick it yet? Hold on. Complete. Okay, loaded, 82 comments. Okay, so we've got 82 comments in here. Sorry guys, I'm like super slow tonight. This is my first one. So 82 comments. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick a winner. You ready? Who is it? And the winner is of the old school vintage tackle box loaded with old school products. We've got Dan Serrano and awesome. Um, I definitely recognize Dan from the comment section. So uh, I'm very happy that one of the old school bass and buds won the tackle box. So Dan hit me up. I think you follow me on Instagram as well. So it should not be too hard to get in touch, um, but congratulations, sir, on winning 
the first ever mm. Retro Bassin Tackle Giveaway. Drop a comment down below, guys. Let me know if you'd like me to do more of these in the future. In the meantime, Dan Serrano, uh, appreciate you uh, dropping. By the way, your comment was, hell yeah, eating breakfast for watching some Retro Bassin. So until next time, happy Christmas to all. And definitely, fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.